McMinnville is trying to find solutions to a growing homeless problem. Our Jennifer Dowling is getting answers now as some neighbors are trying to fight back against those solutions. Jen? Good afternoon. There have been several ideas floated about where a potential sanctioned homeless camp might go here in McMinnville or outside of the city. And neighbors on Riverside Drive were shocked and disappointed to learn that one could go in right near them. But I don't think that they've thought this through. Cecilia Pike has seen the homeless camps grow near Joe Dancer Park and McMinnville's water and light building. I'm concerned about drug use. I'm concerned about violence. I'm concerned about improper sanitation and public health. Some neighbors say they've been threatened by campers and chased by dogs at the camps. Because of concern, Cecilia says she's strongly against a proposal to move campers to a sanctioned campsite in a field off Riverside Drive. It would sit right near her neighborhood. This is where I intended on raising my family. And if this were to relocate there, that would rip the rug right out from under us. Well, this has not come before the board. We haven't had a chance. There's nothing that's been proposed to us. So we really, I think what happened is, is that the homeowners out in the area where there's been a proposal got wind of this and said, wait a second, this is just, this is not happening in my backyard. County Commissioner Mary Starrett says the board just learned of the idea. She said there would be a lot more hurdles to jump before something like a campsite could be considered there. That property is outside of the city limits, which is where the county would come in, and that's where we would have to review uh, codes and we'd have to review ordinances. West Putting the, 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 the hate to it, which is a lot of what's going on, uh, actually seems to be adding like fuel to the fire. Jacob Miller lives in one of the local makeshift RV camps. He says they've experienced a lot of threats and discrimination here. He says having a sanctioned spot to park or camp is a step in the right direction. People got to open up their hearts a little bit more about things. So you got to have more compassion. And Mayor Scott Hill from McMinnville did send me a statement through email. He's saying that the Affordable Housing Task Force and the city subcommittee on homelessness were looking at potential places in the future to possibly put a campsite or a future shelter. However, he said no decisions have been made and the spot on Riverside Drive is not currently planned to, for a campsite. Back to you. It's an issue so many cities are wrestling with. Thank you, Jennifer.